distinguished members of the platform party are the Honorable Margaret Lorino, Alderman of the 39th Ward. <laughs> President Emerita Salmi Haru Steinberg. President Emera, Emerita Sharon K. Haas. Acting Provost Wamushi Jogu. And finally, President Gloria J. Gibson. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to please stand for the national anthem sung by Northeastern Illinois University student Gloria Blue Spurgeon. Hello, everyone. Please remain standing as I sing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? What so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the rain. were so gallantly streaming and the rockets reckless the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh, oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land Thank you, and please be seated. <coughs> Presiding over this afternoon's ceremony, please welcome Mr. Wes Becton, 
Chairman of the Northeastern Illinois University Board of Trustees. Good afternoon, Northeastern. You all look great. Let's thank our announcer and faculty member of the Department of Music, Dr. Robert Heitzinger. <laughs> Distinguished presidents and chancellors, delegates, honorable guests, fellow trustees, students, staff, faculty, retirees, and esteemed family and friends of Dr. Gibson. It is my honor to welcome you to this afternoon's inauguration ceremony. I also extend greetings to those who are watching the live online broadcast of this ceremony from literally around the world. The inauguration of a new president is a defining moment in the history of a university. Today, we honor centuries-old traditions as we celebrate the formal admission of our new leader into her office. This is the mark of a new beginning and the pathway to the future of the university. The presence of our diverse community of guests from around the world is significant. It's significant evidence of Northeastern Illinois University's role as an institution of higher learning uniquely poised to prepare students for success in an increasingly global society. This is a promise that Northeastern offers to allow our students to learn in the city and lead in the world. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, thank you all for your presence on this joyous occasion in celebration of the rich history and the vibrant future of this university. Now I'm pleased to introduce the platform party. Members, please stand and remain standing as I call your name. Lisa Wallace, Acting Dean of Libraries. Michael Stern, Dean of the College of Graduate Studies and Research. Sandra Bada Lori, Dean of the Daniel L. Goodman College of Education. Michael Bedell, Dean of the College of Business Management. Cortina Katrina Bell Jordan, Interim Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Shane Kofer, Acting Assist Associate Provost. Mark McKernan, Acting Vice Provost. Salima Perez, Executive Director of Government Relations and Class of 2000 and 2004. Ann McNabb, Acting Chief Financial Officer. Mike Dizon, Chief of Staff and Chief Marketing and Communications Officer. Liesl Downey, Vice President for Institutional Advancement. <laughs> Melissa Reardon Henry, Vice President for Legal Affairs. <laughs> Danielle Lopez, Vice President for Student Affairs. <laughs> Eric Winslow, Student Government Association Vice President. <laughs> People like you. Ashley Ross, Student Government Association President. <laughs> Chuck Good, President of the Northeastern Illinois University Alumni Advisory Board, Class of 2004. John Roscoff, President of the Northeastern Illinois University Foundation Board. Carlos Escoitia, trustee. Bob Biggins, trustee, class of 1969. 
Sherry Eagle, trustee. Barbara Fumo, trustee, class of 1987. Marvin Garcia, trustee, class of 2008. Jonathan Stein, trustee, class of 2008. Elena Malloy, our student trustee. I like you too. George Vukatic, vice chair of the Board of Trustees. And Jim Palos, secretary of the Board of Trustees. Margaret Loreno, alderman of the 39th Ward in class of 1974 and 1993. Salme Haru Steinberg, President Emerita. Sharon K. Hawes, President Emerita. Wamushi Jogu, Acting Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. And Gloria Gibson, President of Northeastern Illinois University. Platform party, thank you, please be seated. In the 2017-2018 academic year, Northeastern Illinois University celebrated its sesquicentennial anniversary. For 150 years, this university, this institution, has carried out its mission with vigor and dedication. It is appropriate then that on this occasion, we should remind ourselves of that mission, as well as the vision of the university and of our shared values. My friends, this is our mission. Northeastern Illinois University as a public, comprehensive university with locations throughout Chicago provides an exceptional environment for learning, teaching, and scholarship. We prepare a diverse community of students for leadership and service in our, le in our region in a dynamic, multicultural world. This is our vision. Northeastern Illinois University will be a leader among metropolitan universities, known for its dedication to its urban mission, for the quality of its programs, for the success of its graduates, and for the diversity of its learning environment. And these are our values, which appear behind me. They are the backdrop and a constant reminder of the principles by which we conduct our vital work. To read the meaning of these values for our inauguration ceremony, I'm going to ask Ashley Ross, Student Government Association President, and Eric Winslow, Student Government Association Vice President, to come to the podium. These are our values of Northeastern Illinois University. Integrity. Northeastern is accountable to those who serve and to those from whom we receive support. We are committed to honesty, respect, transparency in our words and in our actions. In that regard, we work to be good stewards of the resources we are entrusted to use. This includes human, physical, fiscal, and environmental resources. Excellence. In our pursuit of commitment to excellence, we value the quality of learning and teaching and scholarships and service. We value the opportunity and experience that support personal and professional development. And all our members of our community, and that all that we say and do, we are committed to do the process and product of excellence. Access to opportunity. Northeastern values the access to opportunity. We value a welcoming environment, that provides appropriate support, as well as encourages mutual responsibility for and commitment to learning. Diversity. 
Northeastern values the inclusion of board a broader spectrum of students, staff, faculty, and the life of the university. We celebrate the foster global perspective. We encourage the open and respectful express the, of ideas and difference in thoughts, experience, and opinions. Community. As a community institution, Northeastern has a special obligation to provide an environment that is supportive, nurturing, and participatory. Such an environment is characterized by civility, fostering humanity and engagement, and creates a sense of community through inclusion, mutual respect, and empowerment. NEIU values our metropolitan setting as a laboratory for learning, and we foster partnerships for learning, research, and service throughout this dynamic region to promote the public good. Empowerment through learning. Northeastern Illinois University is dedicated to creating culture that provides lifelong learning opportunities for all members of the university community. We are especially committed to transforming students' lives by engaging them in educational experience that empowers them to graduate with the skills and knowledge to effectively participate in the lead in personal and professional and civil realms. Thank you, Ashley and Eric. We're grateful to be reminded of these values and what they mean to Northeastern Illinois University. President Gibson has received greetings and congratulations from around the country on the occasion of her inauguration. For this ceremony, I am now pleased to introduce the Honorable Alderman Margaret Lorino of the 39th Ward, who is also a double alumna of Northeastern and currently serves as the President Pro Tem of the Chicago City Council. Alderman Lorino will now share a letter from the Mayor of Chicago, the City of Chicago, Rahm Emanuel. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, President Gibson, university leaders, faculty, and honored guests. President Gibson, as alderman of the 39th Ward, which proudly includes Northeastern Illinois University, I welcome you home. Congratulations on all your achievements. The City Council has passed a resolution congratulating you on your selection as president of the university. And Mayor Rahm Emanuel, who served this district in Congress but before becoming Chief of Staff to President Obama and Mayor of this great city, entrusted me with a letter for you, which I will now read. Dear President Gibson, as Mayor and on behalf of the City of Chicago, I am pleased to offer sincere congratulations to you as you begin your term as President at Northeastern Illinois University. Founded in 1867, Northeastern has worked to provide an affordable, high-quality academic experience with a faculty dedicated to excellence in instruction, research, public service, and a population richly diverse in ethnicity, culture, age, and language NEIU serves more than 9,000 students and offers over 80 undergraduate and graduate degrees. With over 20 years of experience in the field of higher education, you have educated and helped to establish new and innovative programs, most recently as Senior Vice President and Provost at Morgan State University. As you begin your tenure as at Northeastern's President, I know you will continue the institution's drive for excellence and innovation. So as you enjoy this momentous occasion with your friends, coworkers, family, I hope you will take the time to reflect on the accomplishments of yesterday and today and of all those yet to come. Again, I offer congratulations on your inauguration. Best wishes for much continued success. Sincerely, Rahm Emanuel, Mayor. Thank you, Alderman Lorino. I'm now pleased to introduce Trustee George Vukatic, Vice Chair of the Board, who will read a letter 
from Illinois Governor Bruce Rauner, a proclamation from the Illinois State Senate President John J. Cullerton, and a letter from United States Senator from Illinois Tammy Duckworth. Thank you. I think it's great when you get the visibility and recognition from so many people as we have here. And as Wes mentioned, I'm just going to read a sample of those. The first one is from Governor Rauner from the state of Illinois. Dear Dr. Gibson, as governor of the state of Illinois, it is my pleasure to congratulate you on your inauguration as the seventh president of Northeastern Illinois University. Since its 1867 founding in Chicago, Northeastern Illinois University is credited with a rich tradition of educational innovation and has grown to serve a diverse population to students who seek education that prepares them to become successful, productive, and compassionate members of society. Your tenure as president at Northeastern Illinois University will undoubtedly only help to increase and expand the quality of education students receive. The experience you have gained in higher education, leadership development, communications, and multicultural affairs make you uniquely qualified to tackle the challenges facing higher education today. On behalf of the people of the state of Illinois, I congratulate you on this achievement and offer my best wishes in all future endeavors. Sincerely, Governor Bruce Rauner. Our second is a proclamation presented by Senate President John Cullerton, congratulating Dr. Gloria Gibson on becoming president of Northeastern Illinois University, dated September 13, 2018. Whereas, the Illinois State Senate is pleased to congratulate Dr. Gloria J. Gibson of Northeastern Illinois University on her inauguration ceremony as the university's next president and whereas Dr. Gloria J. Gibson was selected after an inclusive nationwide search, and whereas Dr. Gloria J. Gibson, who has over 20 years of experience in the field of higher education, and most recently serving as a senior vice president and provost in Morgan State University, and whereas the Illinois Senate values the special relationship it shares with institutions of higher education, now and there proclaimed by the Senate of the 100th General Assembly of the State of Illinois that we congratulate Dr. Gloria J. Gibson on being inaugurated as the President of Northeastern Illinois University and extend our best wishes to her for continued success and achievement and be it further proclaimed that a suitable copy of this proclamation will be sent to Dr. Gloria J. Gibson as a symbol of our respect and esteem from Senate President John J. Cullerton. And many of you may know uh, Senator Tammy Duckworth. She also sent her congratulations. And again, this is her letter. Dr. Gibson, it is my distinct honor to congratulate you on your inauguration as next president of Northeastern Illinois University. This ceremony marks the beginning of a new chapter for the university itself. Throughout its long history, Northeastern Illinois University has continually established itself as a home for students of all backgrounds, regardless of age, race, or creed. Northeastern has always welcomed individuals willing to work hard and contribute to the academic community here in Chicago. I am proud that Northeastern has so readily embrace the city which it resides, and I am confident that you will carry on the tradition and promote its diversity. Your years of experience working at universities across the country will serve you well in your new role as president. Given your long-standing ties to Illinois, I am not only happy to congratulate you on your inauguration, but welcome you back home. Sincerely, Senator Tammy Duckworth. And let me just add my congratulations, and from the rest of the board, we all look forward to working with you going forward. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Vukatic. Many of you have traveled far and wide to join us for this historic occasion. I want to take a moment to acknowledge, especially, 
those presidents and chancellors from other universities across the nation. Thank you for being here. I welcome members of the Northeastern Illinois University Foundation Board and members of the Northeastern Illinois University Alumni Board. In addition to the Board of Trustees, these two volunteer boards are integral to the success and to the university's future. I'm delighted to acknowledge the president, presence of distinguished alumnus Daniel L. Goodwin and other alumni with us today, family and friends of President Gibson, and also accomplished alumna, Dr. Anna Castillo. Dr. Castillo is a celebrated and distinguished poet, novelist, and short story writer. He's also an essay, essayist and editor, playwright, translator, and independent scholar. She holds a master's degree from the University of Chicago, a PhD from the University of Bremen, Germany, in American studies, and an honorary doctorate from Colby College. Before these degrees and her many, many other accolades, Dr. Castillo earned her Bachelor of Arts degree from Northeastern Illinois University. She joins us this afternoon to read a poem of her selection. Please help me welcome Anna Castillo. I'd like to start with uh, congratulating Dr. Gibson. It's my privilege and my pr uh, pleasure to be here this afternoon and to uh, share this humble work um, with all of you for the first time. It's called These Times. In these times, you and I share. Amidst the air, you and I breathe. Inspiration we take from day to day thriving, opposition we meet. The sacred conch shell calls us, drums beat, prayer sent up, aromatic smoke of the pipe are our pledge to the gods. An all night fire vigil burns where we may consume the small cactus messenger of the Huichol and the Pueblo people of New Mexico. Red seeds of the Tlaxcalteca, mushrooms of Maria Sabina, tez de mi abuela from herbs grown in coffee cans on a Chicago back porch, tears of my mother on an assembly line in Lincolnwood, Illinois, aid us in calling upon memory in these times. In other days, when memory was as unshakable as the African continent and long as Quetzalcoatl's tail in the underworld, whipping against demons, drawing blood, potent as Quetzalcoatl's two serpent face and necklace of hearts and hands to remind us of our much required sacrifices for the sake of the whole, we did what we could to take memory like a belt chain around the waist to pull off and beat an enemy. But now in these times of chaos and unprecedented greed, when disrupted elements are disregarded, earth lashes back like the trickster Descatlipoca without forgiveness if we won't turn around, start again. Say aloud, this was a mistake. We have done the earth wrong and we will make our planet a holy place again. I can, with my two hands, palpitating heart, we can and we will turn it around if only we choose. In these times, all is not lost, nothing forever gone, though you may rightly think them a disgrace. Surely hope has not abandoned our souls. Even chance may be on our side. There are women and men, after all, young and not so young anymore, 
tired but tenacious, mothers and fathers, teachers and those who heal and do not know that they are healers, and those who are learning for the sole purpose of returning what they know. Also amongst us are many who flounder and fall. They will be helped up by we who stumble forward. All of these and others must remember we will not be eradicated, degraded, and made irrelevant, not for a decade or even a day, not for 6,000 years have we been here, but millions. Look at me. I am alive and stand before you, unashamed despite endless provocations railed against an aging woman. My breasts withered from once giving suckle, and as of late, the hideousness of cancer, hair gone gray, and with the womb like a picked pomegranate left to dry in the sun, my worth is gone, they say. My value in the workplace also dwindled as to the indispensable role of mother. As grandmother, I am not an asset in these times, but held against all that is new and fresh. Nevertheless, I stand before you. Dignity is my scepter. I did not make the mess we accept in this house. When the party is done, the last captive hung fairly or unjustly, children saved and others lost, the last of men's wars declared, trade deals busted and others hardly begun, tyrants toppled, presidents deposed, police restrained or given full reign upon the public and we don't know where to run. On a day the sun rose and fell and the moon took its seat in the sky, I will have remained the woman who stayed behind to clean it up. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Anna Castillo. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've been waiting for. At this time, Dr. Gloria J. Gibson will be invested as the leader and seventh president of Northeastern Illinois University. In honor of our history and accomplishments, we are joined by President Emerita Sharon K. Haas and President Emerita Salme Haru Steinberg. I ask them to please join me at the front of the platform. And now I ask Dr. Gloria Gibson to join us at the front of the platform. She can't wait. <laughs> to be installed as the president of Northeastern Illinois University. Also joining her on stage are her two sons, Antonio and Christopher. President Haas will now share the meaning of the special medallion that will be placed upon Dr. Gibson. Good afternoon. President Emerita Steinberg and I are honored to present the medallion. President Gibson, the presidential medallion with the seal of the university is a symbol of the office of the president. The seal combining both traditional and contemporary elements, represents the history and mission of Northeastern Illinois University going back to 1867. The book and the flame are classic symbols of knowledge and enlightenment. The skyline and the globe signify our urban setting and the involvement of the university in our global society. We place the medallion on you as our new president to symbolize your leadership 
in carrying out the mission of the university. Good afternoon. As Provost and Vice President uh, for Academic Affairs at Northeastern Illinois University, I'm pleased and very happy to present the orb of the university to Dr. Gloria J. Gibson. President Gibson, the orb is a symbol of authority and stewardship invested in you as president. It represents our whole university community. The orb will always be carried immediately before you in any official procession at Northeastern Illinois University. Congratulations. My friends, I was fortunate to have participated in the process, the search process, that selected Dr. Gloria Gibson for this presidency. All of the members of the Board of Trustees agree that she is the right and best person to lead our institution forward. Dr. Gibson now wears the presidential medallion presented by President Emerita Sharon Haas and President Emerita Salme Haru Steinberg. She bears the orb of the university. Both are symbols of the office of the president, which will only be worn by her as president in official ceremonial functions. Trustees, platform party, and all those in regalia, I'd ask you to please stand if you're able at this time. Ladies and gentlemen, by the authority vested in me as the chair of the Board of Trustees, it is my great privilege and high honor to invest Gloria J. Gibson as the president of Northeastern Illinois University. President Gibson, we entrust you with the care of the members of the university community and the responsible stewardship of the university's resources. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated and without any further ado, please welcome to the podium President Gloria J. Gibson. Congratulations. Thank you, Chair Becton. And good afternoon, everyone. 
Well, my heart is so full of gratitude for many, many things. For the support of Northeastern's Board of Trustees, for the discerning work of the Presidential Search Committee that brought me here to Northeastern, for the warm, warm reception that I have received since I arrived June the 1st from faculty, from staff, from alumni, from students, from family, from dignitary. Many, many warm, warm receptions. I am thankful for all of our donors who contribute their time, wisdom, treasure. I can't mention all of you this afternoon, but I want to acknowledge one person, and that is Dr. Bernard Brummel, who I understand is watching via live stream this afternoon. He taught at NEIU for 28 years, mentored countless students, and has been so extraordinarily generous with his time, his talent, and his treasure. I want to thank Dr. Anna Castillo, not just for being here today and reading her work, which was so heartfelt, but for being an alum. Our alums are everywhere, and they prove to the world that a degree from Northeastern will take you far places. I am thankful for the confidence of the university community and the many diverse communities of Chicago. I am thankful for my family that traveled near and far to be here with me on my special day. For my friends and colleagues from Indiana University, the University of Northern Iowa, Morgan State University, from East St. Louis, East Boogie, I treasure you and your support. Thank you. And I am much, much appreciative of my new home here at Northeastern. Thank you to the inauguration committee. They did an incredible job this week. Incredible job. I feel honored to be following in the footsteps of President Emerita Sharon Hahn and President Emerita Salme Steinberg. Thank you for your support. And for our incredible students, past and present, your dedication to your education, your ability to overcome obstacles, and your amazing potential inspire me every day to do my best. And of course, I am thankful for each and every one of you who came out this afternoon for a part of this celebration. Thank you. It is my honor to stand at the podium before you this afternoon as Northeastern Illinois University's seventh president, which is a position I am humbled to hold. It is also an honor for me to continue my career in service 
to public higher education, which is an area in which I am so incredibly passionate, and to continue in my home state of Illinois. In many ways, I feel my entire life has been spent in preparation for this wonderful, wonderful opportunity. It is a dream come true. It is truly a blessing to be the president of a 151-year-old institution that is recognized nationally is a responsibility that I take very seriously. That's because being the president of Northeastern comes with impressive bragging rights. And some of them, a few of them are, we are federally recognized as a Hispanic serving institution, which is an important part of our identity. We graduate the highest number of students with the least amount of debt. We are consistently known as being the safest campus in the state and one of the top three in the country. This one I love. We have a reputation for being an ideal university for adult learners, and we welcome into our classrooms so many students who are first generation in their family to attend college. We have the best, the best faculty and staff you'll find anywhere in the world serving the best and the brightest students in the world. Finally, we continue to be the most ethnically diverse public university in the Midwest. And it's because of you, our university community of faculty, staff, and students. Each of you contributes to the diversity of our institution as we foster tolerance and understanding across cultures and engage in acts of social justice. Through a focus on inclusion, we begin to find ways to connect, collaborate, and coexist in our dynamic, multicultural world. Gwendolyn Brooks, as many of you know, was one of the most influential poets of the 20th century. She was also the first African American to win the Pulitzer Prize. I am also delighted to boast that she taught poetry and creative writing right here at Northeastern Illinois University. Yes. I am so deeply moved by her life and her work. As she stated in regards to diversity, we don't ask a flower any special reason for its existence. We just look at it and are able to accept it as being something different from ourselves. This, to me, helps describe what Northeastern is all about. We accept one another. We respect one another. We learn from one another, and that's partially why Northeastern is so special. 
And as your new president, I am happy to also hold the self-given title as your chief advocate. Together, I want us to promote and celebrate all those things about Northeastern that we love. Last year, as was stated earlier, the campus celebrated Northeastern sesquicentennial anniversary that acknowledged our 150th history. I am so proud of our past and how we have grown into an institution that we are today. But right now, I am focused on our future, which is why I selected Pathways to the Future as a recurring theme of our inaugural week. Let me take a minute to talk about pathways. My own pathway to my future began in East St. Louis, Illinois. My father, James Gibson, migrated from Greenwood, Mississippi. My mother, Grace Allen Gibson, was born in Alexander City, Alabama. Mississippi, Alabama. They migrated from the south to the north to build a better future. I am a first generation college graduate, although at the age of 78, my mother earned her bachelor's degree. I am a product of not only the public schools, public schools, public schools, public schools in East St. Louis, but graduated with my bachelor and master's degree from Southern Illinois University in Edwardsville before leaving to Indiana University to pursue my doctorate. In addition to working hard, long days, sometimes double shifts at Granite City Steel, my father was a Baptist minister. Along with my sister and brother, we were taught the love of God, and I am truly thankful for my spiritual foundation. We were, in our family, back then, financially challenged. Do you know what that means? Financially challenged. We were poor. But we were rich. We were rich in so many ways. An integral part of my pathway, also precious to me, are my two sons, Antonio and Christopher. As a single mom, we experienced difficult days while I was in graduate school. We were also financially challenged. You know what that means? We were poor. But my children kept me focused and motivated. They did that for me. We also have additions to our family. My sister-in-law, Stephanie and Jayla, 
and I am grateful for them. I would like for my family to please stand to be acknowledged. My pathway at each stage of my career included colleagues who inspired me, consoled me, encouraged me, laughed with me, and cried with me. I would not be here without them. Colleagues and friends from East St. Louis, Bloomington, Indiana, Jonesboro, Arkansas, Cedar Falls, Iowa, Baltimore, Maryland, representing Indiana University, Arkansas State University, the University of Northern Iowa, and Morgan State, all contributed to this day. I would like for you to please stand to be acknowledged. and talk about how we together, Northeastern, can create our pathway to the future. But let me first share one important prediction that I have about the future, and that is life and our world will become far more complex and it will be increasingly important that we have people who are educated, informed, and engaged enough to tackle current and future challenges. This is how Northeastern can create pathways to the future by preparing a diverse community of students for leadership and service in our region and in our dynamic, ever-changing world. But in order to accomplish this future, we must do certain things today. We don't have the luxury of time. We have to get busy. When? Today. Now. So, here are five areas, among others, but I'm only sharing five with you today. I know it's hot out there. Five areas today that are consistent with our strategic plan. Number one, let's continue to attract and recruit from our neighborhoods, our city, our region, our nation, our world. Access must be given for opportunity to flourish. Access. <laughs> Langston Hughes asked us, what happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun? or fester like a sore and then run? Let us not let the dreams of our future generations be deferred. Their dreams must be realized and they will be innovative, creative, and disruptive. They will be our change agents. We must give access. Number two, 
Let's be laser focused on student success. It's not just about the numbers. It's not just about the numbers. It's about the success of our students. Our students come to Northeastern with the understanding that if they work hard, they can achieve their academic goals. So it is our duty and responsibility as a university to ensure that we live up to our end of the bargain. We must provide the services and support necessary for our student success. Number two, student success. What was number one? All right. Number three, let's celebrate our faculty and staff and continue to equip them with the knowledge and experiences necessary for our students to see Northeastern's tradition of academic excellence and innovation. We need our faculty and staff to see in our students what they do not see in themselves. Our faculty and staff can provide the foundation for building leaders who are knowledgeable and caring, caring leaders. Caring leaders, knowledgeable leaders. Number four, let's create community, governmental, philanthropic, and corporate partnerships necessary to provide an entry point to our students to build mutually beneficial initiatives that support our goals and to demonstrate our engagement with surrounding and commitment to our diverse communities. Cesar Chavez reminds us, quote, we cannot seek achievement for ourselves and forget about progress and prosperity for our communities. Our ambitions must be broad enough to include the aspirations and needs of others for their sakes and for our own. I therefore call on all leaders, especially our alumni, to connect or reconnect to NEIU. We need you, and I believe to whom much is given, much is required. So come on back home, alumni. And lastly, difficult days and challenging work lie ahead. The success of Northeastern Illinois University has never been solely about one person who sits in the president's office. We must work together, support each other, and when necessary, provide constructive criticism. Northeastern Illinois University, I want to leave you with a promise. I pledge to you that I will do everything that I can to create impactful pathways to the brightest future possible for Northeastern and for our students. We all recognize that Northeastern embodies our hope for the future. We will advance equity. We will embrace difference. We will advance higher education 
for all. And we will succeed. This is my commitment to you as I proudly accept the presidency of Northeastern Illinois University. Thank you. Thank you, President Gibson, for your incredibly inspiring remarks. Northeastern Illinois University is a vital institution of higher learning, and we are all convinced that you will lead us as we embark on our pathway to the future. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the inauguration ceremony. In celebration, Enjoy the platform party or recess followed by members of the constituencies here to witness this occasion. I knew I was going to mess it up. No. Let me just say before that happens, we're going to have a musical selection. Can we get a round of applause for the band? They've done a great job already.
That was amazing. Can you sing that again? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this really does conclude the inauguration ceremony. In celebration and joy, the platform party will recess, followed by members of the constituencies here to witness this occasion. Please remain seated until the recession is complete. On behalf of the university community, thank you for joining us today to share in the history and the future of Northeastern Illinois University. Please remain seated as the platform party recesses after the recessional. Please join us for a reception here on the University Commons. Thank you all for coming.